This is a performance overview of the EVGA GTX 960. Right now, as I'm filming the video, this is the most sold graphics card on Amazon. So that's pretty cool. And it's priced at $197, but I bought it for $210 and then plus tax $220. Uh, so let's get on with the game. So the first game that I want to show you is Battlefield 3. Now it was released a couple of years ago. Uh, I don't have Battlefield Hardline so I can't really show you that. But as you guys can see in the top right hand corner, you can expect to get way above 60 FPS. And right now I'm reaching around 80 up 70. But most of the time uh, 80 FPS. So let's try a different map uh, because this is not the most demanding game, uh, demanding map I meant to say. So this is another uh, map. It's mostly played on the Conquest game mode. You can expect little lower FPS. Let's try CSGO or Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Highest setting possible. And I am getting way too much FPS that you can see some screen tearing. So you can see around 250, I mean it's reading 200 to 300 FPS. But yeah, it's really smooth and if this is the game that you're buying the graphics card, I would recommend going with like R9 260X or something smaller. I I'm not gonna waste too much time with this game because you guys can see in the top right hand corner it's locked at 91 FPS. So I can't really do much about it. This is not a demanding game. It even plays on uh, Intel HD graphics. So let's now try. Let's see what game I try next. Uh, Project Cars. Okay. Uh, this is probably the most beautiful looking game that's out there. Especially if you have a steering wheel. Uh, that hooks up to your PC, I would highly recommend getting this game. This game has amazing graphics. Again, way above 60 FPS, but uh, in worst scenario, when it's raining and like thunderstorm and all that happens, then don't expect to get over 60 FPS. This is pretty much the worst scenario that's possible and uh, you can still expect to get over 40 FPS and it's it feels smooth. It, I know it doesn't it might not be 60 but it's still smooth. So here is a Minecraft. Uh, not really a demanding game. I have the render distance set to 10 chunks. I don't know why I had it so low. I know I should have gotten it higher but you can tell uh, 250 to 400 I think that's the range. No 250 to 450. Even 489. Oh, that's really high. So this is perfect if you want to record, if you have a YouTube channel or something like that. This card can handle it without a stress. Let's try GTA 4. It was released, I think, in 2009 or 8. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm. I was kind of sad that I uh, that you don't get over 60 FPS on this game, even though this game was released a few years ago. But uh, it's still smooth. Uh, it's way, like it feels way better on the PC than Xbox. I would recommend the controller. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.